Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? Welcome to my Fallout 76 Let's Talk video, and we're gonna talk about the patch 8 arrives today. I don't usually do these sort of type of videos, but the thing is, I just got back from work, which was my second day at the new job, and I really wanted to play um, Fallout 76, do my um, daily uh, challenges. Oh, oh, sorry, not daily challenge. Well, daily as well, but weekly challenges, because weekly challenges are resetting today. And I wanted to rebuild my cam, and bam, I totally forgot it's the 9th of April and we were supposed to get an update. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, I don't usually do these sort of type of videos. I want to do them, but I don't know, I just need some more experience or something. So let me know how to go in the comments section down below, and uh, let me know if I should keep doing, uh, like, updates videos. <laughs> Uh, Fallout 76 updates videos, less talks, or any other less talk mechanics or something like that. So, uh, the patch has arrived. There is actually some good news. I really freaking want to share that with you right now. ASAP. Hey, the, 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 where is it? Oh, there you go. The death mechanics. The number of caps lost when killed by another player. That's in survival mode, by the way, right? Was reduced from double to 25%. Thank God. Like, really. I'm level 240 plus. And every time I was getting killed, I lose like, four, I lost over 400 caps per death, and I was making very little. <laughs> well, if I killed like the guys from my level, but I've noticed there aren't a lot of high level dudes running around. Just really, really few of them. Sometimes I got to PvP with uh, the guys who were actually my level. But even you know those guys under, like in between. 50 and level 125 are all loaded with essential armor, with explosives, with everything. Well, I don't want to have multiple characters, I just want to have one guy, and this is good news for me. I really like uh, survival mode, I really like the XP amount. I met a lot of friends, by the way, in survival mode. Uh, I have we have our own team sort of as well developed as uh, Russian speaking and English speaking, and I, I perform as a translator. <laughs> So man, that is some really good news. And for example, like, uh, for example, level 60 character who is killing survival will now lose 15 caps rather than 120. Thank you, Bethesda. Thank you. This is freaking good news. I didn't see this coming, or maybe I wasn't just reading any updates because I was all busy with my. Uh, upcoming new job plus right now with the onboarding information my brains are about to explode so I'm even might gonna mess up somewhere here so let's see what else do we have here uh, patch highlights laying long quest line so that's a new quest line brought to us separate fact from uh, fiction as you investigate the mysterious disappearance of Calvin Van Loan alright cool Design and balanced adjustments. Vendors, turns, going mass, vats. I really wonder what's that all about. Uh, what else do we have? Item renaming. Ooh, that's cool. I love that. I can finally name my sets. <laughs> Personal touch and your peer armor. Nice. Okay, that that is. I like. I like. I like a lot. Uh, new screen. <coughs> A splash screen will now automatically appear upon logging into Fallout 76 to, no to notify you of the latest game news and announcements. I, I thought they. Oh, m maybe is that end game? I thought I already had it. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> the Borrows. Coming April 16th. Oh! <laughs> on my birthday! <laughs> nice. Explorer. Uh, the Borrows. A new subterranean dungeon. Ooh, dungeons are coming. They offer a challenging experience of even the toughest of the weight slant adventures. Mm, sounds good. <laughs> On my 31st birthday, I'm gonna run in the dungeon. Nah, I'm not. Unfortunately, I will not be able to do anything. I have a job plus family stuff, you know. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. New dungeon. Nice. Nice. I like it. Now, they also reduced the uh, amount of aid that you drop. I don't really care about this. Like, we lost everything. You get some. I mean, when I played survival mode the very first day, I had like 12,000 caps. 
<laughs> that first day I lost about 3,000 caps. Uh, the next day I went to all the vendors and I bought everything, whatever I could. Oh no, wait, we also, me and my friend, found some traders on, well, he found traders, and we bought a lot of lead, a lot of steel, a lot of gunpowder, just wasted our caps to zero. And then went to survival mode with a whole bunch of ammunition. Alright, uh, so that we, yeah, scoreboards, uh, map highlights for the top three ranked players are now based on players killed score, brother. Ah, uh, okay, cool. So, pretty much, to my understanding, instead of, uh, the players who survive the most, like, you know, uh, they don't get in combat and live and don't die, uh, they get the number one, two, three mark. So, basically, here... Now it's gonna be placed on the guys who kill other players. Actually, li I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. I mean, I'm, I like PvP, but I don't like killing everybody like as soon as I see it. it sometimes it does happen, like, it's like automatic, you know? <laughs> I even killed my friend automatically when he spawned in my camp, just just because, you know, the reaction like, boom! <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he, he got pissed for a few seconds there. I was like, sorry dude, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> Uh, invulnerability. A recent hotfix we addressed the issue that could not prevent the temporary. Uh, oh, okay, that's when you're fast traveling. Yeah, I found this very frustrating on the first day, but uh, they actually f sort of fixed it. Yeah, we n we noticed that like a couple of days later that when you respawn, even though you get shot, but your health just goes whoop whoop, you know. Uh, then what else do we have here? Vendor updates. A vendor from each faction except the Enclave can now be found downstairs in the shops at the White Springs Resort. Thank you! Now I don't have to fast travel from one place to another, from one place to another to, f to do all my daily s sellings and buying stuff. Uh, this should help reduce the need of fast travel and murder. Oh, okay, yeah, basically what I just said. <laughs> Uh, the pool of 200 caps was previously uh, for each vendor fraction has been merged into one combined pool. Oh, nice! Thank you. This is even better. So, but actually, you know what? Uh, having all vendors in one place, you know, kind of okay. But still, it's still still cool. It's time saving. Basically, if you have something you can sell, it's just like bam. 1,400 caps in your pocket. So once per day, you can make 1,400 caps with no problems. These means that buying items or selling items to vendor will update the pool available caps across all vendors. Okay, this change should offer more flexibility when buying and selling higher priced items or when attempting to trade many items at once. Okay, cool. The vendor pool is still resets after 20 real, what? 20 real time hours? Uh, oh, okay. So pretty much it was like that. Turn attack damage and range tuning. The player build turns are now affected by player P uh, PvP damage rules, which features damage scaling as well as an increase in the base damage for all types of turns ranging from 15 to 100 percent damage depending on the t what the hell well i got totally lost here mm, to my understanding they've increased the uh, damage of the turns what about serv survivability because you can one shot those things man I, I even stopped building those stupid turns because they're like freaking useless including the missile launchers everything the laser thing Everything in PvP and survival mode just one shot, bam, everything is dead. <laughs> Additional target attack ranges have been increased to match players' weapon range. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, basically, yeah. So, okay, cool. The shotgun turns, projectile spread has been reduced to better match the combat shotgun. Uh, I never actually used the shotgun turn, to be honest, so I can't really comment here. These changes should help turns in camps and workshops pose a bigger and more Assistant threat against attackers. Thank you. You know what? In survival mode, actually, why am I relocating right now a new a new camp? I I, I had these couple of guys who we always PVP and they're sort of like similar level to mine. 
uh, and uh, I win some, I lose some, you know, win some, lose some, like in the uh, Friday movie, <laughs> you win some, you lose some, so yeah, <laughs> those guys, I don't know how, but actually I know how, probably when I was marked as uh, long survival, uh, the icon was in my camp because sometimes you know I'll put my guy to sleep so he gets that five percent boost when, when you sleep in bed, right? And then go take grab some water, and make some coffee, you know. And that probably how I'm I gave away my position. By the way, by the way, which means that if I'm not gonna be a killer number one, I will not expose my location, meaning. I can have a good camp <laughs> and not trigger it because what I was leading to is that those guys they found my camp and when I was about to log out that actually happened three days ago when I was about to log out I jumped to my uh, camp three dudes I don't know mini guns some I know no wait that was a 50 cal like shooting like crazy and it's just and I hear it and I'm like damn that's my base right now and I'm loading up and I hear the rocks falling, bullets flying, explosive, boom, boom. Well, I was one, <laughs> so I was not able to kill those guys. <laughs> I mean, I did kill, I got killed. I got, to be honest, I got more, killed more than I actually killed. So yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Even though even my camp got fully destroyed, I relocked it. And I don't care. I, I actually want to build a, more of a... Like a bunker camp with a big farm, because you know there are some challenges where you gotta craft lots of beer. I mean, like alcohol drinks and other stuff. And to do it easily is get yourself a big farm, gather, build, challenges completed, you get your atoms, no problem. And yella yella yella. What else do we have here? Okay, rename, select, stash. Okay, so that pretty much explains how it works. And uh, is there anything else here that sounds interesting? Stash. I would love, like, the moment I read stash, I thought maybe they uh, increased the limit, but no. <laughs> Never afraid. Window has been removed and transferred. Okay. Sound bug fixes. Let's quickly read through the. Yeah. You know, encounter a black screen after respawning. Huh. Ah, while well, wearing power armor. Okay, makes sense. I don't use power armor, so I never encountered that bug. You're just climbing the hatching now. Improves server's performance, moving through the area, many containers. Okay. Uh, the atom shop initial loading has been improved, really reducing. Okay, whatever. Address the crash. Okay. Oh. Crafting workshops, blueprints, attempt and blueprint. Uh, yeah, exploit. And there's an exploit that could allow players to gain a free camp placement. I don't know. I'm not into exploits. I don't like using glitches. I don't even think so. That doesn't really tell me anything. Interesting exploit that could allow. Be what? Man, duplication, duplication. Crafting, modifying, uh, no longer increasing appearance. Uh, yeah. Oh, challenges! There we go. Daily wearing a sun hat when taking a picture. Now correctly. Ah, uh, okay. Never, never did that one. Daily craft alcohol while intoxicated, wearing a beer hat can now be properly completed while under the effect of camps. Camps? Lol. I thought in. Oh well, that makes sense. I actually did when. I like if you watched my previous my first weekly challenges video in toxic AI, I used to just have a bear and do all the thing and everything was good and okay so bugs 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 events man there's just a lot I pretty much mentioned everything that I wanted to mention so it was my first impression by the way and this is the first time I'm, like well actually this is the second time I do a let's talk video I don't know how the first one even went, <laughs> but nevertheless, we are done <laughs> for today. I'm looking forward uh, to your comments. Please do let me know if you'd like for me to proceed with this. Point out some of my mistakes, what you think I should not be doing and I should do. You know, 
to so I can increase the quality of such videos although you know to be honest with the new job and everything uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if I'll have time to read the news of Fallout 76 and all this stuff uh, well I'll tell you what I'll try to do it and I still look want to know whether if you like for me to do these sort of videos or not yeah let's, let's do it that way Alright folks, thanks a lot for watching, you have a good morning and night, whatever you guys lock it at, don't forget to leave your comments, I always get back to them, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for more Fallout 76 videos, and if you did subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan, smash those likes, and if you want to help my channel grow, please do consider sharing this somewhere on the media, such as uh, Facebook or Twitter, or even save it to your favorite playlist on YouTube. Alright guys, I'll see you later, bye.